Status. The Status tab lets you understand exactly what's going on within your live Kive network, so you don't have to wonder about the state of any data you're backing up, syncing, or sharing. For quick reference, if the icon on Status is spinning, you'll know that activity is occurring. Data is either being sent to or received from the live Kive servers. LiveKive provides you with an instant overview of your backup, sync, and share activity. On the left part of the screen, you'll find a listing of all devices on your LiveKive network, as well as a summary of the total amount of unique data stored on each. You can adjust the scheduling of these activities by clicking the Change button and modifying your scheduling preferences. If necessary, you can stop all LiveKive upload activity by clicking the Pause All Uploads button. The Q tab provides a list of data that is being sent to LiveKive with the percentage completed displayed to the far right. If you exit LiveKive or shut down your computer during the sending process, any files remaining in the queue will finish their transfer whenever a connection is re-established and LiveKive is relaunched. The log shows you a historical view of what has already been sent to LiveKive. When a folder or file is finished and reaches 100% in the queue, it will appear in the log. Finally, on the Stats tab, you can review a current summary of your LiveKive network statistics by clicking on the Generate Stats button. Pay special attention to the first line that displays the amount of data you have stored before deduplication and compression.